What's up, savages? I am uh, on my way to Cape Cod. Go fishing. Hang out. So, uh, that should be interesting. I go up like a couple times a year. It's nice up there. Um, no more daps. No more fucking Ethereum daps. Eat a dick. Don't even fucking send me one. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gambling any. I'm done. Fucking done. Fucking Discord. Everyone's done. You're all done. All the dap heads are done, I think. I think, I think we're all tired of it. Can we agree on that? I don't know. Maybe. Something crazy pops the fuck up. But, you know, I'm, I've removed the temptation by taking out Ethereum you know, trading it for Ethereum Classic for the new dApps, which, you know, those could be fucking, see, the ETH dApps could be scammed so easily, there's so many scammers in that space, and it's just what it is right now, it's the, it's the fucking, it's what it is, but these ETC ones, seems like the ones that we're looking into are, are you know, people seem to hold, hold them community's a little better. There's no community in the uh, Ethereum dApps. That's just cutthroat. And again, you know, I, I've seen a comment on there about, yeah, dApps, that's great investing. No, it's not investing. I've never said this is investing. I've said this in other videos. This ain't fucking even close to investing. This is fucking gambling. I don't know how many times to say fucking gambling. I have investments. I have some, well, I've invested very well in Monopoly money. I have a lot of Monopoly money. I have it all over the fucking place. I'm a fucking Monopoly money billionaire. Holy shit. I own so much friggin' shit. Most, some of it's crap, maybe, I don't know. I, I got good shit. Hey, you know, everybody's all up on Digitex now. Where the fuck were you people in March? February, March, I fucking bought the ICO. I tried to buy a million tokens. What I did was, it was a 20% um, bonus. I tried to buy 800,000 tokens for eight grand. They were one cent. I couldn't get enough gas in that transaction. I did a one, you know, I tried to do one single transaction and it failed fairly quickly. Um, I, I put in so what I did was I doubled up. I saw that it wasn't working. I said, shit, I didn't even think about the gas. I didn't think it was going to go so fast. That ICO sold out in like 13 or 14 minutes. So I sent eight uh, fucking eight separate transactions for 8,000. I mean, 10 separate transactions for 8,000. Real quick, with a lot of gas, I wasted a lot of gas. I ended up only capturing one of those transactions which turned out to be with my bonus you know a hundred thousand fucking tokens which is shit I'm happy about that but I sold Friday or Saturday night I sold close to 16 cents everything with the exception of what I picked up after the fact another 30 something thousand that I'm just leaving on a wallet so nobody was fucking talking about Digitex. Anyone I had mentioned Digitex to before or any any YouTube promoter, they wouldn't talk about it and they'd say, that's crap, it's a scam, what is Digitex? Including that cunt. Oh, God, I don't believe I said that word. Fucking Zach from Crypto Coin News. And now, now he's looking at it. You know what? This goes to show you that Fucking nobody knows what they're talking about in crypto because these fucking dumbasses FOMO the fucking when it's fucking are you kidding me? This shit sat on the exchange at point zero zero six for months and then maybe got as high as a fucking back to ICO price. One penny. And uh, I'm not touching that. I don't get it. These people invest with their... They... They fucking goddamn buy green and sell fucking red. That's what these dumbasses do. Is 
Zach, you're gonna be broke because you're an idiot. You fucking. Do I gotta talk about your fucking fiance again? How her voice makes me wanna fucking murder people? What? Where did you find this? This fucking. The voice. Holy fuck! So. Uh, you know, crypto, crypto market is again flipping the fuck out last couple days. Who the fuck knows where it's going? You don't know. Nobody fucking none of you cocks. You don't know shit. Very few people know how to play this market, including myself. I I don't know shit, but I know what I like. I know what has promise. As far as promise goes in crypto, so you know, buying opportunities out the ass right now. Still, for the longest time in this fucking bear market. I mean, Jesus Christ, I mean, you bought so much of certain things. I could potentially be a billionaire. <laughs> a billionaire. Tons of Monopoly money to fucking make it rain on you fuckers. Nothing. But, um, it's just shit. It's loaded with shit. Stop listening to fucking shitheads, including myself. I ain't gonna tell you anything. I don't know shit. I know. The minute I tell somebody about a cryptocurrency that has promise and all that other good shit, it fucking gets delisted. So please don't follow anything I do. Holy shit. I can make money on my own, but I can't make money for other people. And I am not, by any means, a financial advisor. I'm a fucking dangerous person. Gambles. Too much. But, uh... You know, that's, that's what crypto is. It's fucking gambling. Stock market. I said this the other day. Um, you know, all this shit with ETFs. People want ETFs. People want regulations. People want the SEC involved. You're asking for trouble. You know, of course they're going to get involved. And this market will never... This cryptocurrency market... And I never say never, but... At this point, if... If the ETFs are going to be approved, if cryptocurrency is going to go mainstream, if Gemini does what they want to do, if these other, you know, it's going to get to a point where you can't buy things, you know, you can't, you're not going to be able to buy Cardano at seven cents. You're not going to be able to buy Stellar Lumens at fucking 20, whatever, two cents. You're not going to be able to buy Ethereum at $200. Who knows if Ethereum will even be here. You're not going to be able to buy Ethereum Classic at nine something. You're not going to be able to buy Bitcoin at 6,000, 6,500, whatever. This, it's, it's over after this. After this bear market, what I think, what I see, what I hear, that's it. You get mass adoption. You get the SEC involved. It's over. Enjoy this shit while it lasts. You know? It's never going to happen like this again. And I could be completely fucking wrong. Just like I said, nobody knows shit. Bitcoin could be fucking a dollar tomorrow. Everything could just disappear. The government could just fucking throw down regulations. SEC could shut it all fucking down. You won't have nothing. Just be pipe dreams. Like it is now. But pipe dreams that you threw money at, you threw fiat at, fucking fiat's a pipe dream, fiat is based on nothing, people who talk shit about crypto, saying it's based on thin air, there's nothing, there's nothing backing it, what the fuck is backing the US dollar, please, prove to me there's something backing the US dollar other than the faith of the American people and other countries, Nothing. Jesus Christ. There's nothing backing the U.S. dollar. There's less backing the U.S. dollar than there is backing fucking Ripple. Le- far less. Nothing backs the dollar. There's, it's a joke. I don't know if anyone has gold. I don't know if anyone has silver. You know, I've been, I've been investing in gold and silver for a while now. 
Yeah, some, fucking some people think you, you do that, you're wearing a tinfoil hat, and you're, you're a conspiracy theorist. Well, you know, you can call it a conspiracy, but asking questions and doubting our, our government and doubting other governments and doubting the U.S. dollar that's not a conspiracy. That's a legit. That's a legit thing right there. Like, fucking man. Do you think that your social security is going to be there when you retire? Probably not. Unless. Unless things change. Um, uh, back to the stock market. You know, they, they're, they're getting itchy over there. These fucking people that are involved in the United States, New York, in the, in the New York Stock Exchange, Nasdaq, S P 500, all this shit, bonds, you name it, fucking, they want a piece of this market. Whatever you're doing investment-wise in crypto, fucking, you need to notice the signals, and there are a lot of signals right now. They want... Don't give up your crypto that easy. If you own fucking Bitcoin and people think it'll go to whatever, you know, I said a dollar. It's not going to go to a fucking dollar. Jesus Christ. It goes to a dollar. This world's going to end. There's nothing. But hold your fucking crypto, man. Don't... Don't let that, don't let that shit go for the, for the cheap, man. Stop fucking around with your crypto. I gave away a lot of Ethereum the last couple weeks playing death games and that is my problem my issue my own fault my weaknesses don't let your weaknesses overpower you in crypto hold on to everything you can that you own in crypto that you've built up don't sell you're not that you know you've heard this you don't lose until you sell it if you own fucking bitcoin at twenty thousand dollars which you're a fucking noob you know, if you bought it there, but whatever. If you own it there, and it's at six thousand dollars, sixty-five hundred dollars, and you sold it, you're an idiot. You know, that's your own fault. Don't sell your fucking crypto unless you a billion percent have a, an issue where you need the money. It has to be life-threatening. You own it now. Don't sell it. Don't lose it. Hold that shit. You know, this market's going to come back and you're like, fuck, I let that whatever go. I let that stellar lumens go. I let that whatever crypto you own. This shit could pop hard, man. Like, just, I, I know I go back to Cardano sometimes in videos, but take that, take that for the case. Like, right now it's seven cents. You know... 5x your money with that shit. It was only it was 35 cents a couple of fucking months ago, man. 5x your money. Don't sell your shit unless you necessarily need that money. Life threatening. You, whatever. You're sick or you fucking can't pay your mortgage. I don't know. Whatever your issues are. I'm holding all my shit now. That's it. I'm done. I'm done fucking around. I'm liquidating shit that I don't need. Um, I'm not fudding the fucking ARB community, but I am done with those motherfuckers. That fishy ass shit that's going on over there. Yeah, you need to question that if you're an ARB holder. Arbitrage is doing some fucked up shit. Don't fucking try to tell me it's not. Don't try to tell Oh, this is that. You're talking yourself into some dumb shit. You're, you're talking yourself into your mistake. You're, you're trying to reassure yourself of your mistakes. Not fucking disrespecting them holders in there, but if you're trying to, if you're not questioning it, if you're not questioning what arbitrage is doing, the possibility of it being a scam, you know, you're just, you're just second guessing your decisions and that's okay because I've done it, but just question it, be safer with that shit, you know, make sure you're covered. If you're covered, um, you've made your money back, say your initial investment and I, you know, this is well known. Yeah, you want to make money. Yeah, you want to fucking benefit from things. But if you're, if you've t- taken back your initial investment, do what the fuck you want with our, or, what, or any other cryptocurrency for that matter. Just, just question that shit. And stop fucking being so confident. I'm not confident in anything in this damn crypto market. 
anyway, that's it. Uh, I rambled on for a really long time. I'm driving. I'm bored. I got nobody. I'm by myself. So I'm talking to a fucking camera. You guys have a really good day. I'm going to um, try to grab a quick video about Mobius, Mobius 2D tonight for a giveaway. There's an AMA going on. Check that out. Go into their um, Discord. You guys have a good day. Do fucking better things. Wow.